two beginners don't seem to have any disadvantage at all. They're enjoying the increased efficiency their persistent gear affords them. Excellent gear and excellent teachers. Add some ocean to this and enjoy with no fear at all. The testing of the Stunner LE-140, the pride of persistent line of pneumatic guns, is undertaken by Bibin himself. The chosen scenario is a combination of rocky and sand bottom in an average depth of 70 to 90 feet. Bibin ventilates properly on the surface while inspecting the bottom below. His low internal volume sniper mask allows a wide angle visibility and unobtrusive vision of the area. The best way to manipulate a long, powerful pneumatic spear gun like the Persistent Stunner SC-140 is holding it by the middle. Pippin's insertion technique is impeccable. He penetrates towards the depths with a minimum effort. As soon as he does so, he hides the spear gun alongside his body. This, besides making it less visible to the fish, makes him slimmer and more hydrodynamic. Bing assures a non-tangled ascent, keeping the fish at the end of his float line. A consistent rhythmic kicking technique is exhibited. And then he calmly retrieves the fish from the surface. This technique allows the spear fisher to start reventilating and organizing for the next dive, even as he recuperates the captured fish. Distinguishable are his three to five kicking cycles as he descends towards the bottom. Then he switches to the suspension or flutter kick, a sideways horizontal motion that both stabilizes and breaks the sinking speed of the diver. This allows him more exploratory time, always moving his head from side to side in a wide sweeping motion. You never know where nice fish are coming from. This turned out to be the case, as we will see later in this video. He spotted a beautiful male hogfish and smoothly taking his time, aims the powerful stunner LE-140 and the fish becomes history. Being a well-coordinated pair of professional spear hunters, Jorge Mario points at the source of the distraction. A school of great amberjacks is swimming towards Pipin as he has kept a silent, non-aggressive behavior while diving and excited the fish's curiosity.
The 7.5 millimeter steel shaft goes through and through the large fish, not a kill shot on purpose. If one of the members of a school of pelagics is wounded and kept at their death, the other most likely will not desert him and will remain swimming around the wounded member. This allows for the surface partner to dive alternately and continue repeating this hunting technique. Once on the surface, he makes sure the fish is secured by firmly grabbing the spear. It's the perfect opportunity for the persistent team to take advantage and spear another great amberjack, this time with the stunner LE Oleo Pneumatic. Peeping redirects his general direction towards intercepting, not blocking the path of the leader of the school. He selects his target and shoots. Another perfect shot and careful recuperation using the buoy line. Both spear guns, the Rubber Sniper 125 and the Pneumatic Stunner 140 LE have performed brilliantly. Here's the video sequence to prove it. Three smiling spear hunters and their captures. Maybe 10 feet away, 10, 15 feet. Went through, shot him in the stomach, so he came off the spear, because I shot him in the soft spot. Why you shot him with? I shot him with uh, one of the best guns that I've ever used. With a rear gun? With a persistent air gun. No money gun. We're going to have to make the switch. <laughs> Happy faces and ear-to-ear -ear smiles as the emotions are let out. Not only have the persistent team tested the gear, and especially the guns, but they have done it with flying colors. The accuracy, penetrating power, and efficiency of the guns were proven successfully.